Hey friends, this is Kim, KimandPerry.com, Kim and Perry Coughlin. You probably know us for the crazy people with way too many kids. Um, I'm going to show you how I do my monthly repricing. This is not our regular repricing. We have a VA add our new SKUs twice a week to the repricer. This is what we do with our stale inventory, anything 90 days and up. We do it the first of every month. We go through and we pull, we pull SKUs for anything that's old and we mark down the mins and the maxes by 10%. So if an item is 30 days old or 90 days old, three months old, it's getting this done for the first time. If it's four months old, we're doing it for the second time. If it's five months old, we're doing it for the third time. So month by month, if these items don't move, the mins and the maxes are getting reduced by 10%. The goal here is to have everything gone before six months. So the first thing we do is come to Seller Central. We go to Reports, Fulfillment. We are going to pull our aged inventory report, inventory age in the left sidebar there. You're going to have to come in here and click Request Download, and it will take a couple of minutes for it to be ready. I'll let you see what happens when I click that button. It's in progress. Now I already did this, so I have one ready right there. I can hit download and the report shows up down here in my sidebar. Um, the next report that I need to queue up is in my repricer. I log in to be cool. I go to upload file and then I download my full template. This is the one that has all of my um, all of my SKUs that are already in Be Cool. It will show them with the mins, the maxes, the cost of goods, all the information is in there. Now what I'm going to do is merge these two reports using a magical tool called the VLOOKUP. I am going to open this tab. These are my Be Cool listings. I'm going to pick that up and drag it over where you can't see it into my aged inventory report. So I now have two reports open here. They are set two separate tabs on the same workbook. I can rename them for simplicity. This one is my aged inventory. This tab is my Be Cool listings. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to go through this whole list of SKUs, and there's about 20,000 of them, and I want to see which of those SKUs also appears in this um, aged inventory report. How do you think I want to do that? What is the best way? My aged inventory, I've got 7,400 SKUs here. I don't want to go match those all individually, do I? That is way too much work. So what I want to do is first, I want to narrow it down to just the old stuff, right? This is the stuff that's zero to 90 days. We don't care about that inventory. We don't care about that at all. Here's the stuff that's over 90 days. These are also over 90. These are over 90 and these are over 90. That column better be empty. If it's not, I'm going to be a little embarrassed. But what we're going to do is right click here and insert an empty column. What are we going to use this empty column for? This is going to be all of our old stuff. Now here is a real easy formula for you. Equals, that tells Excel that we're going to, we're going to be adding something. We want the sum of all of the old stuff, but not the new stuff. 90 days and up, just those. And see how I highlighted? Instead of remembering how to type in the syntax here, I just highlight it. I don't have to remember that. I'm going to add a close parentheses, and it just added up all my old stuff. So across all the different age ranges, I have one unit there. Double click, and it will copy all the way down. So now I can see everything that has old inventory. The next thing I want to do, I can either sort this or I can filter it. I'm going to go ahead and sort. Let's move this up just a little so you can see my tools. I want to sort it 
by that old that column of old inventory from largest to smallest we just want to see the stuff that actually has inventory over 18 over 90 days right anything down here that has a zero we don't care about those those are not part of our problem today so we can just delete all that old stuff we'll all the way to the bottom hold down shift to copy all of those and then I'm going to right click and delete all that stuff was just new inventory this is the old stuff 2479 SKUs these are my items that are over 90 days in this column right here okay column N is our business column right the next thing we're going to do is sorry one of my tools is in the way here we're going to go over to be cool now remember be cool has our complete list right we're going to do that magical VLOOKUP that I'm always telling you about it's going to look complicated don't get scared equals VLOOKUP it's the name of the formula we're doing now lookup value we're going to tell it to look at all the SKUs again we're just going to click I don't want to remember B colon B right I'm just going to click and highlight and then it types in my formula for me comma the next piece of this formula is the table array here's what we're going to do we're going to highlight a bunch of columns one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Actually, I wanted to go over to 12, 13. I'm going to hold down shift so it'll grab that. 13 columns. This is everything we want it to look at. And I will show you why. 13 columns. And then, if it finds this SKU anywhere in that table, I want it to go all the way over to that 13th column and pull in the information from that. You know what that column is? That column is the quantity. It's the number of old pieces. See over here, N? It's going to pull back this number if it finds a match in the SKU. Is this cool or what? Okay, so now the last element to this VLOOKUP formula is true or false. True means you just want a rough match. False means you want to know if it finds exactly this SKU, precisely. And that's what I want to know. I want to know if it finds exactly. This is called false. And there's a problem. Why is there a problem? Man. Why does it have to do that when I'm making a video? That is so rude. All right, we've got column B here. We are going to go over and grab, how many columns did we grab? We grabbed 13 columns, comma. We want to pull back the info from 13, and then we want that false match. Okay, NA means it did not find that SKU. That's not old stuff right there, or that stuff is out of stock now, which is not a problem. Here's some old stuff. That's not that is that's not it pulled in the the old quantity for every one of these SKUs that it found so now what are we gonna do now we're gonna come down and everything that has aged inventory we're gonna play around with our minimum and maximum pricing right so the next thing we want to do is sort again and this time we want to get rid of anything that has the NA there, right? Let's see if we can just sort that without messing up the top and the bottom. We want to sort it by column K. Okay, so now we have numbers. We don't want those NAs because those were not found. Let's get rid of all that stuff down below. All these NAs are not stale inventory. We're not going to do anything to them today. 
we're just going to mess with these. This is everything that had stale inventory. Now that we're done with our, our little filtering project, we're going to get rid of that column because we don't need to know how many pieces of everything there was. The next thing we're going to do here is insert a blank column. And this column is going to be our minimum price column instead, right? This is our new minimum price column. And what do we want to do? That formula that we talked about equals that times 0.9. I'm going to take 10% off of my current minimum pricing. Double click and it will go all the way down. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my max prices. Insert a new column, move my header over, and do a formula equals that times 0.9 double click so it goes all the way down. Now we need to format these so that they have just two decimal points so they'll look the way BeCool wants them to look. Formatted as numbers, two decimal places. Now they look right, but you know what? They're still not right. If I click on this, it's actually not 1579. It's a formula. Same for this, same for this. These look like numbers to us, but they're not numbers, they're formulas. And the way we fix that is highlight the column, and we can highlight all of these at once if we want to. Right click, copy the data, right click, and we're going to paste it right back in the same place, but we're going to paste values, one, two, three. This means we're not going to paste the formulas that are underlying this. We're just going to paste the numbers that we see. I like to call this stabilizing the data. Now, if we click on these, we can see that they're actually numbers. They're not formulas. And we need to do that or else it's going to error out when we upload to be cool. Now we delete these extra columns, our old mins and our old maxes. So we have our updated minimum and maximum prices. We have them only on our aged inventory. Save. I think we actually need to save as a, I don't remember if it's a text or a CSV, but we'll find out in just a minute here. I saved it. We're going to come back over to be cool and we are going to choose a file to upload. I saved that in my downloads, right where it landed. Where are you? Right here. This is a TXT file. Let's see. If it doesn't work, then we'll know we needed a CSV. Okay, it is pending. This will take a few minutes to go through. We'll come back and check the refresh button in a few minutes, and if all goes well, most or all of those will be activated. It'll say number of records processed 2478 or whatever that number was. A few might error out for various reasons, but unless I made a big mistake, most of these are going to get activated. So normally I would just hang around here and refresh a couple of times until we see that it's all going to work. That, folks, is how you do a bulk upload. That is how you do a VLOOKUP. They're magical. They're wonderful. They do great things for you. And I know you're probably confused, but take a few minutes. Find a YouTube tutorial that walks you through it because it's worthwhile. Bye.